Welcome to Coinboy Productions. This is a new series called Tanner Talks. We will be doing fishing uh, tactics and reviews, mainly for pike, walleye, all those kind of yellow perch, all that kind of stuff. Um, we will be doing watch reviews, and we will also be doing Beyblades. Right here. Beyblades. Um, let's do a wrist check. So what I'm wearing today is my Casio Quartz Diver Wash MRW 200H. Um, honestly, it's a good wash. Only thing is the dial turns both ways. Yeah. All right, but let's get into the Seiko review. So first, you open up the box. Box lid. Just put that to the side. Uh, let's take out the watch case. Right here. Take out the manual. Let's talk about the manual. So here, it just comes with a certificate of guarantee card. Basically, in one year, if your watch breaks, you are able to uh, repair it, but in the second year, you have to go to a European country in which where the company actually is. All right, so here's the watch. We're just opening it up right now. Oh, just a little bit. There we go. And there is the Seiko 5 SNKK27 Speed Racer. Let's talk about the box. So the box is, honestly, it's really nice. It's got this nice leather pillow right here. And it's also got this nice leather interior, almost made out of like a cardboard box, except it's tougher. And then on top, on top, right here, there's kind of like that weird memory foam almost, kind of feel to it. Uh, honestly, I like this box. I give this box 10 out of 10. And let's move on to the watch. So here is Seiko 5 SNKK 27 Speed Racer. The back. Obviously Seiko 5s are all automatic. Uh, I forgot to mention that. And here is that. It's got a nice, it's got a really nice look to it. I really like that kind of dial right there. Kind of reminds you of a car dial or gas gauge or something like that. It tells you the date. And it's got a, um, correct me if I'm wrong, it's got a non hacking hand. Meaning, if you pull this out, the crown, it won't, it will keep ticking. Um, the crown is readjusted to that 3 o'clock hand position. And uh, this one is uh, 30 meters water resistant. It doesn't say on the watch, but it does say, right? I'm not sure if you guys can. Come on, focus. Focus. All right, well, it won't focus. But on the bottom right here, it says uh, automatic 21 joules. So let's go put this on. All right, here it is on my wrist. It's already readjusted. It's got a nice clasp on it. Um, I like how it's polished right here. It's got more of a scratchy texture right up right there. All 
and it's also got a really nice luminous display like I can already see it looming right now anyways this is Tanner Talks um, we will be making another video shortly hopefully and uh, we'll catch you guys later